Hey everybody, Steve Kreiner here. Hey, I just want to take just a few minutes, um, probably be longer than I want it to be, but I want to take just a few minutes and tell you how you can accurize your rifle if a custom build don't fit into your budget. And then at the end of the video, I'll explain to you on a few options how we can make your custom build just a little bit more uh, affordable if it don't fit into your budget. So first of all, there's a lot of options on the market to make your existing gun more accurate. Now, if you go to boltrifle.com, you notice all my stocks and um, all my custom builds are on a Remington 700 floor plan action Zermatt. Now, all the rifle stocks and triggers available are for a Remington 700 floor plan as well, which means uh, Defiance, Zermatt, Impact, the Remington 700 action itself, anything 700 floor plan I can help you out with. And if it's not a 700 floor plan, just email me at info at boltrifle.com and I'll help you through the process and I'll get you the parts you need and affordable to make your gun more accurate. Now, first of all, let's talk about the first option. The first option to help make your factory gun more accurate is a trigger. Now, I use Timney Elite Hunters. The reason why is I've always used them, I've always had good luck with them, and I've never had one fail, period. That is the God honest truth. Uh, Timney don't give me shit. Um, I've been in the TV business and the outdoor industry for 20 years. Um, I've had sponsors almost my whole career. So when I recommend you guys something nowadays, it's because I use it and it's what I believe in and that's what I sell. I don't have no endorsement deals. I don't have no contracts for sponsorships or anything else. So you can take this for the truth or shift it right along. It's up to you. But I use a Timney Elite Pro Hunter in about 90% of my builds, Trigger Tech and the other 10%. Probably not because Timney's better than Trigger Tech, but because this is what I carry on hand and a lot of. And it's what I use. And a lot of times people say, well, what trigger are you use? And I tell them what I use and they say, why? And when I say it's because I've never had one fail and I love the trigger, they tend to say, okay, that's perfect. Uh, I get them from the factory without a bolt stop and they're set at two and a half pounds. So if you have a custom action and you need a trigger, you're welcome to call. If you don't have a custom action, let's say a 700 and you need a bolt stop, just get a hold of me because I got them too. Triggers are a very important part in making your factory gun or any gun accurate. When you're down on your bags or on your shooting sticks, a trigger is a very key component to making sure that shot's delivered accurately and stress, what I call stress-free. So trigger jobs, definitely. And that's something you can do. You can pop the pins out, order you a trigger online or from boltrifle.com, throw it in there. Uh, before we go any further, I don't care if you buy a custom gun from me. I don't care if you buy parts from me. I, I, like I told a guy on the phone the other day, we was talking about a custom build and he, he wasn't quite for sure what he wanted to do. And I said, man, let me tell you, I don't care if you buy a factory gun. I don't care if you buy a gun from another builder. I, I'm here to help. And you can ask anybody. Uh, I've always been known for answering messages and helping people, whether they buy from me or not, because my, my main goal is to help everybody be a better hunter and a better shooter. So, all right. So moving right along. Um, oh, and speaking of that, when, when the guy's like, man, I don't know if a budget or if a, a um, custom guns in my budget. And then I said, you know, well, whether you buy from me or factory or whatever, I'll help you. Well, the next day he sent me a picture from the gun shop and he said, what about this? And it was a factory gun. And I'm like, Hey, I heard good things about them. I've never had one, but it'll probably work. So, you know, I'm not that guy that's going to be, you know, flip you off and say, you know, get fucked because you ain't buying for me. That's just not me. Um, but I am here to help. So the trigger job, step one, really great way to accurize your rifle. It will tighten your groups. Um, a lot of factory triggers claim to be good, but they're just dog shit. Um, the Remington 700 trigger is complete dog shit. Uh, the Ruger comes from factory. You got to have a tow truck to pull the thing. Um, and when you start adjusting on factory triggers, some of them are pretty unsafe, to be honest about it. And uh, they can sue me or get pissed or whatever they want to for that. I'm just, listen, it's my job to help you guys out and hopefully sell you stuff. 
And I'm pretty honest about that. You know, this is my life and this is my livelihood. Step two, let's talk about rifle stocks. Now, on my custom builds, I'm pushing 200 custom builds and 99% of them I use a gray bow chassis. Gray bow stocks was founded by Ryan McMillan, which his father, uh, Kelly, started McMillan rifle stocks years ago and had a super huge hand in the M24, if I remember correctly. And uh, Ryan's a veteran, cool dude, and, and I seen the people's rifle stock, and I'm like, well, I build guns for the people. You know, my guns are around four grand. They're not 13 grand. I can't figure out how to get 13 grand from a custom gun. Um, but that's their business, whatever. But when I seen that slogan, I was like, hmm, let me check this out. So, and I talked to a buddy of mine. He really liked the gray bow. So I started shooting them and I really freaking loved them. Before I show you some different options I have at boltrifle.com, I will tell you this, that um out of almost 200 guns that i've built they all shoot and i've not bedded one and the reason i'm telling you that fact is because they have an aluminum killer bedding system in all the stocks throughout the the line so i won't go over that when i show you different stocks i ain't going to go over that piece every time the bedding of these stocks is precise um and when you torque right they just freaking shoot and that's what I like. Also, I don't have to bed them. I hate bedding actions. It sucks, and it sucks bad, and it's a $250 bang to you guys that I don't feel like you should have to pay. Uh, like I said, I'm pushing 200, and they've all shot. So when these guys watch this video and be like, oh, I'm a 2,000-yard bench shooter, and I have to bed everything, maybe you do. Uh, I'm not a 2,000-yard shooter. But I tell you what, when guys are producing sub MOA and sub half MOA groups at a thousand yards with my guns, I'm happy. Um, so anyway, let's move right into some options that I carry at boltrifle.com. Um, first of all, the Eagle. This is the Eagle from Graybow. Now, what I like about this stock is it does have, have an adjustable cheek piece. I'm a huge fan of adjust, adjustable cheek pieces, and I'll tell you why. And then when I show you the other options, I won't have to go through that again either. So when you're, when you're hanging on to, let's say, a factory gun, uh, I got one right here I'm building for a guy right now. Now, this is on a factory takeoff laminated stock. Uh, laminated is a little better than just plain, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes customers want wood, and that's fine. But you see this comb right here. If you watched in all my episodes uh, before the last three seasons of Dog Soldier, before I pulled it off the air, I always had a cheek pad here that you put on every gun. And the reason why is because I have to have a weld. If you're on your scope, you see how my head's floating around? That's not accurate. I don't care who you are. That's not accurate. I'm not saying you can't kill stuff or ding steel or anything at a thousand yards. I'm just saying it's not the best. That's why I choose an adjustable cheek piece. So now my cheek, my jaw is welded the, the same every time. There ain't no floating around here. So that takes out one component. And coupled with a bipod and a good, super nice, uh, like this Crosstech bag. Um, I don't have a bipod on this stock. But you know, if you're on a bipod and you got your stock on a bag, you know, welded here, welded here, welded here, accurate. So that is... That's pretty much why I have to have an adjustable cheek piece. That's my preference. A lot of people don't like that shit, and that's cool. But I like being the same every time. Muscle memory. Now, the good thing about this is the Eagle Pro. They do make one that's not adjustable in the cheek piece, but the, the Eagle Pro is narrow on the forearm, and it does have a Monte Carlo angle-style grip. So this is more of your conventional style of uh, rifle stock when it comes to shape. So, um, sometimes people like that. Um, I love it actually. Um, I've got a rifle. Let's see here. I got a rifle right here. Now this is actually a 22 long rifle on a Zermatt Rim X action that I built. And this thing freaking shoots. Now look how sleek and clean that that Eagle Pro is. And it's coming in at four pounds. 
So it's a super light option and a super accurate option if you want more of a hunting style custom stock that's adjustable to fit your needs and make yourself more accurate. All right, moving right along to the Phoenix. Phoenix, a little wider forearm, um, M locks on the bottom. Now the Eagle has sling studs. I forgot to mention that. The Eagles have sling studs. It does have a QD cup on the butt for quick detach. The Phoenix has M lock system. You can put your studs, has a QD cup on the back, adjustable cheek piece like I like. And it has more of a, well, I, I like to call it Bisley because I, I used to like shooting pistols with a Bisley grip. It's more straight down. <clears throat> now what that does, is that that makes my hand more comfortable which for me is more accurate and so i'm welded on a bipod in a back bag uh, a back bag and i deliver the shot crank my bolt i'm right here everything's perfect my 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 hand ain't half an angle which brings your elbow up if you're hunting you're fine but when i'm down on the bench i like to have that angle just like that so this phoenix falls into one of my favorite stocks ever and i've sold the dog shit out of them and everybody loves them they come in right at four pounds it's a great option for long range shooting target shooting and hunting and uh of course the adjustable cheek piece like i mentioned a great stock um, now i only offer um woodland camo burnt sand and uh tan and black i believe on boltrifle.com but when you go to boltrifle.com and look at these stock options you are it is, it is going to say contact me for availability and more info and that way i can get you into any of the custom colors you want from Graybo, or i can get you into any stock that you want but most importantly we can talk about your options and get you through that step now i want to show you the phoenix this is a uh, phoenix with black multicam now this is a 280 Remington that it's, I'm getting ready to send out today. The guy sent me the action and I built him a gun. The action is sentimental to him. His father gave it to him. He wanted me to rechamber it in a 280 Remington. So we put a carbon six blank on uh, 700 action true. Now we're ready to go. And uh, now I can show you more like, like you're right here. And, and hopefully when you're set up, right, your elbow never leaves that table. Now see how sloppy I am? Well, I don't have my anchor points. But anyway, that shows you the Graybo Phoenix on a rifle. That is a super good option to accurize your factory gun. Now, let's say um, you're more of a bench type shooter. Um, and you like um, shooting off a bench, more a target guy or more tactical looking guy. This is the Graybo Ridgeback. I think it's uh, between four and five and a half pounds somewhere. Uh, it is heavier, um, but it has M locks on the side, M locks on the bottom, and adjustable cheek piece. This is a really nice stock. Um, for me, I do like a little bit of a weight. Um, I use the Phoenix or the Eagle because I hunt a lot and I pack a lot. But if I was building a gun just to shoot off the bench or to really get crazy about shooting paper, the Ridgeback would be my choice. It has the weight, it has the wider forearm, it has all the adjustability and the options to put on different components, bipods, laser range finders, etc. like that. And of course, the adjustable cheek piece, and I do like the flat butt. I believe the Ridgeback runs around 649. Uh, the Eagle 5-something, the Phoenix 6-something. Um, you'd have to just go to uh, boltrifle.com and look. So when I talked about adjustable cheek pieces and how important they are to me, um, there is an option. If you don't, Some people don't like adjustability in their cheek piece. They think it'll come loose. They think they'll lose it. That, you know, and, and that's based on experiences they might have had in the past. So I can't say you're wrong and I can't say you're right. But if you're that guy and you don't want adjustability, I believe it's super important to have that weld and the Renegade pretty much solves the problem. Now the M locks are on, M locks are on the Ridgeback. The Renegade has your conventional sling studs. This is more of a target hunting bench style 
rough, let's get shit done stock. But what I like about it, it does have a high comb. When you're on here, I'm welded. Now, sometimes if you adjust your, or mount your scope, and you use the wrong rings or if you have a scope that has to get higher off your rifle which i don't recommend um maybe this won't work for you there's tricks you can do um you can screw plates on the top you can do all kinds of crazy shit, but you can make this stock perfect in my eyes it's perfect for simplicity right now the price point is banger this stock's like under 500 bucks i think it's got the same pillar system in it that all the other Graybow stocks do. So don't let the prices of these stocks affect um, um, the dependability in your mind of these rifle stocks. Because, first of all, how rifle stocks are made is they're molded. Um, prices on rifle stocks are based on production and based on the manufacturing costs. So different molds, different prices, etc. The price points of Graybow are not expressed by quantity or quality or anything else. They're expressed by the, by the manufacturing cost, pretty much. And, and that's what I like about it. I mean, all these stocks have the same pillar system that I've showed you. They all shoot really nice. There's different price ranges. And like the Ridgeback is super, uh, super banger. And the Renegade, for its money, is really, really cool. Now, I also have all these stocks are cut with M5 bottom metal, which allows you to have a detachable box magazine. I have all that in stock too at boltrifle.com. And if you're not seeing something you want, just shoot me an email, contact me. I'll help you through the process, whether you buy from me or, or not. Um, I also can get Graybow stocks with BDL style bottom metal with the floor plate. Um, I also have bottom metal, the Hunter style bottom metal, which is a little bit different of a mag trigger and a flush cup uh, magazine. So we have all kinds of options to make your factory gun better. Now, when I showed you the Remington over here on the black multicam um, stock, so that's a 700 action my buddy sent, sentimental, wanted it to go back to a 280, so we did. But the important thing about that, that's a full-blown custom gun now, and he saved $1,000 because he sent the action. Uh, my actions are around 1000 bucks. so if you have a 700 at home and you want to build a custom gun, let me know. If you have a Ruger M77 and you want to build a custom gun, let me know. A lot of times we may not be able to use certain stock choices depending on that. They're super good aftermarket care for a 700 floor plan, and that's what I recommend. So there's all kinds of options. But if you don't go to boltrifle.com and reach out to me, I can't help you. Now, speaking of boltrifle.com, we offer all kinds of things to help you be a better shooter. Uh, for one, the back bag that I like. Um, we got the fix it sticks, uh, long range kit, uh, tool kits are, tool kits are a necessity. Now, um, another good option for, and we'll wrap it up. Another good option on accurizing your rifle is optics. First of all, have a nice, good base. If you're not using a precision action, bed your base. Um, a lot of 700s are famous for being wonky. Uh, you don't want to twist your rail. Um, so have a good base, a good set of rings. And yes, a good set of rings costs 150 to 200 bucks. Don't cut corners on this process here. When you're mounting your scope, you've got to have the best in my eyes. That's, I mean, it's, it's one shot. I'm a cold bore guy. If I'm out hunting, I got one shot and you got to make it count. Um, optics. So Legend Precision Optics is a company that, that I own with a partner. Um, this is a uh, Chinese manufactured scope. It's manufactured to our specs and designs. It's a four by 24 by 50 with a 34 millimeter tube. The 34 millimeter tube allows a lot. First of all, it allows wide open spaces when it comes to, um, I think, light gathering. A lot of people will complain and say, nah, I don't have nothing to do with it. Maybe it don't. But I do like the adjustable ability when it, when it comes to your elevation and your windage. You just get more out of it. Bigger erector tube means more up and down. If you're a long range shooter, I think that is something that you have to have. Um, a lot of times when I'm putting bases on guns, I just throw a 20 MOA right out of the gate and that gains you 20 MOA of elevation from the bottom right to the start. Uh, the Legend Precision Scope has a, uh, a big parallax wheel. 
um, has an illuminated reticle, which only the dot in the center of the reticle lights up. And this is a proprietary reticle that we designed. It's more simple. It does have hash marks in it. It does have a tree, but it's not busy. It don't blow your mind when you look through it. This is a very nice optic. And for $8.99, I don't think it can be beat at that price point. Um, and it's built like a German tank. When we were doing the scope, I uh, used for the prototypes and the testing, I obviously did my drop test. Uh, but I also used a 338 edge without a break on it, which kicked like a fucking mule. And that's where I come up with, you know, built like a Sherman tank. I mean, that, that son of a bitch has got it. Um, it's a great optic. The big parallax wheel and the big target knobs, you know, some people don't dig it. I dig it. I like to move places and I like to move fast. Littler, slower, bigger, faster. Parallax, same way. Um, a lot of people think I copied, uh, I can't even remember the name now, um, Diligent Defense. They have a big parallax wheel. Um, you know what? Great minds think alike. Um, it's, it's just a must. And I'll tell you where I got a lot of the big parallax uh, wheel theory from. When I was hosting real air gun hunting, and working for Umarex, I dealt with a lot of air gun scopes. And one thing about it is a lot of air gun scopes had add-on parts where you would actually, that parallax wheel was as big as a baseball sometimes. And what was good about that is you could move it fast, you could be precise, and when you're shooting short ranges, you know, with an air gun, like, and trying to shoot really tight groups, you have to be precise. Well, it's the same thing with center fire guns. You have to be, uh, uh, excuse me, precise. You need a good parallax adjustment wheel in my in my eyes. It's it's just that simple. Now a lot of guys that are shooting uh, extra long, you know, up to four inch case all overall length cartridges, you know, sometimes they don't like the knob sticking out over their action like that. Uh, it don't bother me, um, but it is what it is. You can't climb away from that. So just to summarize the video, if you want to accurize your factory rifle, start on your trigger, move to your stock. Go to optics and get the right accessories, bipods and bags, shoot right. Now, if you're hunting, shooting sticks, tripods, anything that can help you be more accurate is a must. Once again, I'm Steve Kreiner, boltrifle.com, and I'm also building them Legend Maker precision rifles that you see so much of. And I appreciate all your support. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Like and subscribe. And if you're finding this video from long range shooting or um, the gun building world, if you notice this, this YouTube channel is full of coyote hunting. A lot of people don't know me that are joining the channel now because I, since I've started building custom guns and getting into a different demographic online, my stuff's being served to a different algorithm. So a lot of people's dropping in thinking, yeah, this is a gun builder. He builds cool guns. Um, he's got good info, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, what the hell's all this hunting stuff? Well, I was in TV almost 20 years shooting coyotes and world predator calling champion, and I freaking love it. And uh, so I'm leaving all that shit here, too, so you guys can just, just digest it. Have fun, shoot good, stay accurate, and just send it. Peace out, guys. Talk to you soon.